Hello everyone. Usually I make my videos in Armenian, but today I decided to make a video in English uh, about Armenian flags during history. First about the word uh, flag in Armenian, we call it drosh, uh, which is very similar to the Persian word of derafsh. Uh, derafsh also means flag in Farsi, and it was more common in Old Persian. Uh, for example, during Sassanid dynasty, uh, before Islam, in Iran they used to have a flag uh, which was called Derafshe Kaviani. And um, uh, you, can, for example, you can see its picture here. This flag has a mythical story uh, about Zahak and Kave, but this is a story for other another time. And at that time, uh, uh, this flag, I mean, the Rafshe Kaviani, was uh, a very important symbol of Persian Empire. And Persians were using it in their most important battles against their enemies, uh, like uh, Byzantium, uh, to boost their soldiers' mo morale. Now, back to Armenian flags. First flag that I show here uh, belongs to Artashesian dynasty in Armenia. The flag, I mean, the flag on the left and the flag on the right belongs to Arshakunyan dynasty. Both are very similar, with two eagles on sides and the sun in the middle. Actually, both, uh, both dynasties are considered to have Iranian roots, uh, but there is a caveat here. Iran means a land of Aryans, and historians uh, tend to call anyone in the region who they do not know where they they come from Iranian. In this way, Armenians are Iranian, German, uh, Germans are in Iranian, Russians are Iranian, and so on. After Christianity, Armenians started to have flags which are uh, uh, more in common with Europeans, uh, like in Bakratuni dynasty flag, uh, which consists of a lion hugging a cross. And then we have Rubenian dynasty flag, which is very similar to, Engl to an English flag or symbol. Rubenian dynasty were based in Kilikia, uh, which is an area somewhere around current-day Iskenderun in Turkey. And they were in direct contact with French, English and German crusaders in the, at that time. Even the last king of Rubenian dynasty was a French nobleman. So it is not surprising that they had, uh, adopt, uh, they had adopted some symbols of their Christian neighbors. Now let's talk about Armenia's modern day flags. First I want to talk about a flag uh, that was designed by Martyrio Saryan who was a well-known uh, painter in uh, Soviet Armenia. The flag, as you can see, represents colors of rainbow. Somehow, actually, it's good that the flag was not adopted. As you can imagine how many jokes there would be about Armenian flag if this was the adopted flag. Uh, but uh, there is a thought behind this design uh, which makes it very interesting to me. As it is mentioned in, in the Old Testament, after flood, uh, Noah's ship wrecked at the top of Mount Ararat. And the God promised the humankind uh, that he would not create flood anymore. And as a signature to his promise, he created rainbow. Uh, as you know, uh, Mount uh, Ararat is symbol of Armenia, although it is technically located inside Turkey. But it is very dear to Armenians. And Martyr Osarian tried to use this story of Old Testament and uh, by designing a flag made of rainbow colors showed that Armenia is a promise by the God. Then uh, it comes uh, the current flag, which is in use. Uh, the current flag originally was a French family flag uh, from uh, Crusaders time and uh, uh, and it had uh, some stars and two swords i guess and and it was um, red blue and yellow in uh, 
1918, Armenian, uh, the government of Republic of Armenia adopted this flag. But to have a better combination of colors, uh, they changed yellow with orange. And we got our current flag.